Since the beginning of time, the glitter of diamonds has blinded and fascinated man. We pursue them and lust for them to the point of madness for their power to solve all of life's problems. The frantic race for them between Geneva and the Bosphorus is peopled with ruthless merchants and ambitious men who thirst for the gems, avid for wealth and power. But also taking part in the quest is an altruistic and determined group made up of representatives of all races, brought together by ideals, eager to use these riches against tyranny and to give the precious gift of freedom to an oppressed people. Lost another second. Alan, you're the best. No one can keep up with you. We lost over a second on that last lap. What's up? The goddamn transmission copped out again. What's wrong with it? I don't think it likes to be pushed over 15 miles an hour. Then there's my wife in her helicopter. What's she do? She thinks it's fun to buzz me while I'm driving. Try to ground her for the regatta, will you? Do my best.
At least she's been having a good time. <laughs> Any word from Ferguson yet? The weather's been terrible all over the Middle East. Just hope his flight wasn't delayed. Let's call this... Come in, hurry. Quite a storm, isn't it? I'm trying to this kid. Are you on night shift? Uh-huh. Lucky you. All week, too. Just a minute. Hope I didn't wake you up, sir. No. What's going on, huh? A plane crash. Another one. A French jet. Didn't make it all the way. This storm is making them drop like flies. It's in the Bosphorus, according to the latest report. Meet you there. Yeah. Just push on through. Easy, just drag the boss for us. No sign of anything out here. Are you guys getting anything up there in the chopper? No, not a thing. I'll take a look around the point. Nothing here. I'm heading back in. Okay, so are we. According to the passenger list given out by the airline, among those on board, and therefore to be presumed dead, were international lawyer Arthur Ferguson and the well-known geologist George Truman. That's about right. Very comfortable trip, is it, Mr. Ferguson? You know me. You're in the news quite a lot. This is my daughter's ad. If the plane goes down and you pull through, would you do what you can to get her this briefcase? Good morning. How's the face? Still hurts, huh? Uh-huh. I'd like to know when I can take all this padding off. Well, let's say two weeks. And I hope you like your new face, Mr. Ferguson. New face? You had a very bad accident. What was I doing on the Kuwait to Geneva flight? I have no idea. Maybe you were just a tourist. Or perhaps you were there on business. It's a country where lots of business is done. Where did you find me? On the shores of the Bosphorus. You were in deep shock. Your face was completely ravaged by the fire. You were unrecognizable. But try not to think about it now. I'm very grateful to you. As I said before, it's best not to think about that whole story. We have to get your memory working. Did you notify my daughter in Geneva? The address on the visiting card. I'm not sure. Everything is so unclear. I'd like you to stop worrying, OK? You'll be all right, really. Get some rest.
Ferguson residence. Who is it? This call is from Istanbul, Polyclinic South. A jet crashed here three days ago. It landed in the Bosphorus. Yes, he's here in the clinic. He asked that we notify his daughter. Is he all right? All right, where? Yes, I got that. Street and number? It's number two, Cavosto. in Istanbul, in a hospital. A hospital? Mm -hmm. Go. Could you all go now? The lesson's over for today. How did you hear about it? Newscast. Look. Here it is. Tragedy on the Bosphorus. Only one survivor. He always did have the luck of the Irish. Okay, what do we do? If you're interested in the diamonds, and I believe you are interested in the diamonds, Alan, you're gonna be on the first flight out of Geneva to find Ferguson in Istanbul. All right. And of course, if Magda is anxious about her poor old father, then take her along with you. Nerd. You've got a job to do. Don't forget it. Keep us posted. Darling, is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, follow that creep and make sure he gets his buns on that plane. There'll be no ship in Valentino. Not now, but we've got a trail we're following. The order is to head back to the base and to be ready. Mm. Tonic. Well, he's not one of us. Been asking questions about Ferguson since he came in. Keep going. The trouble is, the motor didn't. Guess who won out? <laughs>
was that robot? Hmm? Your sparring partner. A friend. A friend. <laughs> <laughs> that man i don't know him daddy that's alan roberts he's a friend of yours alan roberts oh, i've lost my memory i've forgotten it all you'll have to help me mark to explain everything you didn't forget the briefcase at least i hope not the one chained to your wrist with the diamonds in it what briefcase the diamonds are the ones you got from the Emir. He wanted you to buy guns with them as trade. Diamonds? Weapons? I... Oh, my God, will you stop playing around? Just who am I? You're a great lawyer and one who's got an in with a lot of great industrialists. Abdul Pasha wants the guns he's paid for in diamonds. Shh! There could be microphones. Last Thursday night, you called me from the airport. You told me how worried you were. You said you were in Kuwait on that job, that you had the diamonds, that you were afraid you were being followed. Have you forgotten? While you were stuck in Kuwait, I telephoned Mark out in Amsterdam. He'll be helping us with the weapons. Who's Mark? Mark, the one you got out of prison last October. He was in there condemned on a drug-pushing charge. Dad, you never had any secrets from Alan. But if you'd rather, he'll leave you alone in here with me to talk. What do you want to talk about? I'm sorry to bother you, only your father has to get some sleep. See you later, Daddy. Sleep well, Mr. Ferguson. Thank you, Doctor. Till tomorrow, Bye. then. Uh, Inspector. Anything I can do for you? No, just a visit. You can go in. Uh, do you think he'll recover? He's safely out of danger. Uh, it's obvious that if I uh, knew more about him, I could uh, take care of him better. You ran an investigation on him. Can you tell me anything I could use in the diagnosis? He had a briefcase with him, and we used its contents as a means of identifying him. That's all I have to tell you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Thank you. You'll be there in a second. Sammy, Istanbul. Magda Ferguson, if I'm not mistaken. It's Magda, all right. I've got a job for you. Are you available? I'll be there. Okay, get on a plane and come to Istanbul, fast. How tomorrow be? Great. Okay. But I want half of whatever it is, no questions asked. It's a bargain, you got it. At the airport tomorrow. Okay, Sam. Listen, let's get Mark in on this, too. He's a good guy to have around. He's found true love. He won't want to work. Well, let her come along. What do we care? All right, call him. Miss, could you get me Amsterdam 246004? Your attention, please. Passengers arriving on flight 611 from Amsterdam and Rome are kindly requested to proceed to the passport and immigration section at the end of the corridor Mark B. Passengers arriving on flight 611 from Amsterdam and Rome are kindly requested to proceed to the passport and immigration section at the end of the corridor.
Ah, oh, there they are. Over here, Mark. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Magda. Hi, Alan. Good to see you. Hi, Jane Magda. You? Hope you had a great trip. I, I've got a car waiting great. for you. Great. Where? Uh, by the sign. Oh. There? Yeah. Huh. See you at the hotel, huh? Okay. at the hotel. Rex for sale, I'll take it off your hands. Uh, don't bother us, will you? And get that pickup out of here. You're snarling up traffic. Sure, the cars are piled up for miles. Doctor, could you tell me something? Is there a war in Kuwait? <laughs> I don't know things like that. I'm just a doctor, Mr. Ferguson. Ah, yes, I remember. There's an emir who's involved in some clash. He's very, very rich, of course. He has diamonds and oil. I read about it in some article. You say he has diamonds? Mm-hmm. They say he's a real fanatic. Imagine that, can you? A billionaire and miserable. Your hands look wonderful. Move them around. Now, Flex. Perfect. Oh, our surgeon's a miracle worker. I hope you're happy. What about the face? You'll find that your face looks a lot younger. There were some wrinkles that managed to get themselves removed. We'll take off the bandages soon. Just a few days more. Am I supposed to stay lying down in here until the things come off? How about a little walk out in the garden? Go ahead if you don't mind people taking you for an Egyptian mummy. The fishermen say he was found here on the beach at Chile. Okay, it's about time we got to work, too. I'll start right here at the point and work toward the east. You know, I just wonder how long it'll take you to work your way back. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Even the police would have their work cut out for them. It's a long and costly operation, because as far as I'm concerned, that plane went down all in one piece. Then it'll be all the way down on the bottom, wearing a nice seaweed headdress. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's just like looking for a needle in a mud stack. And in secret. We'll start diving in the morning, right at dawn. And offshore. Hello? Miss, could I ask you to come to the hospital as soon as you can? I think your dad could use a little attention. He's quite lonely, poor fellow. 
And there isn't a duty nurse around till three. Maybe he wants to do the diving instead of us. Or else, just set an example for his daughter. The briefcase attached to his wrist was just a bluff, a decoy. The diamonds were in his suitcase. A double bottom. Ah, oh, not bad at all. He kept his papers in the attaché case. The customs men, of course, were fascinated by the chain hanging from his wrist. The trick worked because the big suitcase was never even glanced at. It's a number that works every time. Well, the customs men weren't the only ones taken in by that trick. So were we. And so? Why does he want to see you all alone? I think there's something funny going on here. Please, Alan, stop it. It's not Just true. Just don't forget whose side you're on. <laughs> hey, kids, hey. You need teamwork to see this thing through. Tell your friend we've got a healthy slice of ocean to investigate tomorrow. Laura, listen to me. Get on a plane and be here tomorrow. Go right to the Chalet Beach and hire a good aqualung diver. And another man or two. I'll be waiting for you at the Hotel Harim. You got that? See you tomorrow. Yes? Dirt or trunk? A what? Oh. <gasps> hey, just a minute. Watch out. It's fragile. Oh. Hey, Janie, where's my little darling? <whistles> Come to the pier, no tricks. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? I bring you food. It is very good. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Don't touch me anymore. I, Mustafa, know how to make you very happy. <laughs> very happy. <laughs> Forget it, Mustafa. Could you please tell me what in God's name I'm doing here? All we want is a diamond or two. And that's why I'm here? <laughs> I'm not worth a diamond. Jogs the memory. There's a nice little boat right over there. I'd check it out if I were you. Here, 
have a smoke. Here. <laughs> Ready to talk? Okay. Who's in charge around here? Let's talk. Huh? Him again. You okay? Now, yes. <laughs> Look, a real arsenal. They could outfit all the terrorists in the world here. Well, who the hell are these people? What do they want? They want the diamonds, that's all. Oh, yeah? That's all, huh? Everyone seems to want them these days. They told me I could go when they got the stones. Hmm, I guess it would have been worth it. Take it easy, Daddy. There's no hurry. Really good to see you on your feet again. Who is that? This is Mark from Amsterdam. This is Sammy, sometimes called a professor. You've done a lot of business together in the past. Have a seat. Take it easy. The professor, you said? Yes. He's a great deep sea diver and a smart fellow all around. You'll have to forgive me. It'll all come back slowly. You ought to think of trying to go back to the scene, the scene of the disaster. What is I'm it? feeling dizzy. I think I'd better go lie down. Is there a bed here? Of course. is the best diver on the coast. Even the sharks are afraid of him. Yes, lady, what can I do for you? I need your help. It does not come cheap. A plane crashed in the water. I'm sure you could find it. I need to know more. I'll tell you the details later. The important thing for you to know right now is the marvelous amount of money there is in it for you. There's the house. Well, there's everything we need inside. How about the side of the plane crash? We could go there. You do not waste time. It was like a fireball. A storm of sparks. It fell plumb into the water and went down like a leaden weight. Over there, behind the rocks. A dangerous spot. A jungle of seaweed. Can we start tomorrow? Let's do the arithmetic first. With the house, the boat, the risk as well. It's money. A little something on account, all right? And later, when it's over, you'll get double. All right. For a woman like you, I would sell my life. <laughs> White swan calling Royal Eagle. The dolphins have surfaced. They are about to fish. Stand by to act. Out. Janie, quit kidding around. Let I me in. I'd like a shower and I'd like it alone. 
I think you've been trying to give me the old push. I'll talk later. This isn't the place. Let me in, honey. I was just kidding. Come on. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? You seem to think you're playing with kids, Ferguson. What are you talking about? Abdul Pasha's waiting for the guns he paid for with those diamonds. <laughs> I always like a little exercise first thing in the morning. <laughs> Are you all right? You look tired. You can rest in the house I rented. Did you get everything done? The air tanks will explode at 20 feet. But I had a hell of a fight on my hands before I could get out of there. <clears throat> I was down at the beach. I found the diver we were looking for, Omar. He's the best. Did you pay him? 
I gave him a couple of hundred dollars down, and I promised him a lot more when it was all over. He's happy with the arrangements. He starts diving at dawn, and like I said, he's the best. He better be lucky, too. We'll have the police in our backs counting it. We'll need all the help we can give him. Better. Ah, it's a pleasure to talk to you again. I know he's not on vacation. They don't kid around. These men are not noted for their scruples or fair play. With any luck, they'll murder each other. Thanks, Lieutenant. Keep me posted. Again? Uh, Sergeant, tomorrow we'll pay a little visit to the Harim Hotel. We've got a corpse on our hands. And we can take a look at the beach from a closer point of view. Floating in the pool with a hood over his head and a knife stuck in his back. Never saw him before around here. It's funny that nobody ever knows anything about corpses. <laughs> Your sense of humor. They really wanted to be sure they'd finished him off. And there's something else. Guess who disappeared? Ferguson. Yes, we heard about it. That's why I asked the doctor to come here. It's not our patient at all, that's certain. He never returned to the hospital last night. That's where I immediately thought of him. Couldn't that be the way his new face looks now? No. There's no sign of surgery. That's not Mr. Ferguson at all. Inspector, why was he wearing a mask in the first place? Well, we'll find out. There's one thing I'd like to find out. Just where's my father, Inspector? How do we know it was your father anyway? They could have done plastic surgery on any survivor. Did you see where he was lying down? Look like... Been, uh, just a common second story man looking for something to steal. You really believe what you're saying? I'll tell you after the inquest. If you don't mind, I have to get back. We're all hunting mummies and looking at corpses. Do they pay us? <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, my father's gone. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up sooner or later. We gotta go get a beauty sleep, <laughs> huh? You think Magda's in cahoots with her father? Magda knows what she wants and thinks she can put one over on us. But she's not dealing with amateurs. Maybe he's dragging the Bosphorus right now. Why don't we rent a boat and get right to work? You're full of energy this morning. Right. I need some breakfast first, then we'll go. This is where the plane crashed. Omar is at work already. We'll wait for him here. Look at these bandages. Yeah, but how do we know your father was inside them anyway? It could have been anyone. 
It's too much of a coincidence. You were saying it's a passenger on the same plane with amnesia? <laughs> he could have been faking the amnesia to get information out of us. In that case, he might beat us to it. Is that what you mean? Uh -huh. Those are Ferguson's buddies. Okay, here. They are diving too. They're sure to bring up something. Up already? No, just need a little air. Oh. 
Thinking mummy got away with it. I saw him, and he's not my father. What are we going to do about poor Janie? I think she'll want to be with Mark. Here. Those two can hold hands and giggle forever out there. Well, Sammy, what do you say? Looks like we blew it. Yeah, some days it just don't hardly pay to get out of bed. 50-50, huh? The two of you are just good for a lot of talk. You and her. You wanted a miracle, and we couldn't come up with it. White Swan to Royal Eagle. White Swan to Royal Eagle. Alert. It's time to move. The dolphins are flying. Repeat. The dolphins are flying. Over and out. Oh ho. I hope the news is good. Your freedom is precious to me because it is also my own. Is that Mao? Gandhi. Hold on, I'll get it. Hello? Jesse, this is me, Alan. The diamonds have surfaced again, but in the wrong hands. Oh, I knew it. Were you all asleep while they were ripping you off? And why aren't you busy trying to get them back? The police had their bleary eyes on us. Obviously, we did our best. It isn't easy. Do you want me to come down there? That's the idea. Where are you? Turkey's a pretty big place, after all. At Chile. It's the beach west. Get on a jet and fly down. OK. Chilei. In Venice, you'll be met by Aaron Madoyan. He's rented an ocean-going yacht, a fast one, and he'll drop you off on the Turkish coast. Am I disturbing you? Have you heard about my patient? Do you have any news, Miss Ferguson? That man wasn't my father. We were wrong. Ah, then we were all fooled, every last one of us. It's a terrible shame, but I'm still worried about his health. Believe me, we're not. Ah, yes, I believe you, but I am a doctor after all. Did you know that the dead man in the pool was from the Netherlands? I'm afraid it's really none of our concern. We're leaving. It may be none of your concern, but if you see the patient, please call the clinic. You are on Turkish soil, after all. Instead of a concern, why don't you consider it a duty? Very well, Doctor. Doctor, if you don't mind excusing us, I'd like to ask for your cooperation for a moment. I need some information. I'll have to ask you not to leave the hotel grounds. What are you trying to get at? You have nothing to be afraid of, as uh, long as all your papers are in order. Our bags are ready to go. Are you putting us under house arrest? There's some details that don't quite match yet. Like what? You were all here for Mr. Ferguson. All here to help a sick man. Nothing strange so far. Just friends celebrating a friend's uh, survival. But all of a sudden, the group starts to lose some of its associates. We were attacked. We don't even know who it was. So you don't know? Why don't you tell us? Our helicopter spotted a corpse at Chilet. One of your group. Also the body of his girlfriend. Now can we go? When I'm finished with you! If you like, we can start with you, Professor. 
Would that be convenient? Let's go. I'll take care of it. Wait for me. All right, everyone out. Move. Lieutenant? After all this fuss and bother, it'll do me good. Sam Hellman, Interpol. Got the picture. Is it fun to play both sides? It is if you live. I've played Bandit for four years now to get my hands on Ferguson. So far, no one's blown my cover. No one but you, that is, Inspector. Yes, we know about you. We've read all your reports. <laughs> Admit it's not always easy, but every job has its risks. Always on the razor's edge. But we playboys seem to have a guardian angel. They're quite photogenic, you know. <laughs> That's some long-range lens you got there. Must be Japanese. So, uh, what's your news? The situation's one hell of a mess. We've got an Amir, a mummy, a Dutchman as well. Each man willing to kill for those diamonds. It's a tug of war with about six ropes. <laughs> You're right, it is complicated. Diamonds attract flies. Group of international patriots on the one hand, crooks on the other, all after the diamonds. Which could be used to finance some of their programs, whatever they are. Of course, there's one other group, the good guys. Someone's gonna end up with a fortune. Hmm. Well, I'll stick to my groups, Ribs. I'll nail them sooner or later. You got any ideas? No, but I will. You can count on it. And what do I do with you in the meantime? Uh, I'm afraid you're just going to have to improvise in this case. But there's no problem. So I'll improvise. <laughs> What's this supposed to mean, Inspector? I'm taking him in. He's not exactly a tourist. Take him away. Uh, Inspector. Yes? Uh, you're not going to question us? You're all free to go. I'm going to the hospital. If you need me for anything, I'd be happy to help out. So they hauled old Sammy in, and I was beginning to have doubts. It could still be a trap, darling. Why? I've always had doubts about the professor. Right along. I think we should give it another try. All alone? Oh, you've got nothing to lose by trying. Maybe we'll get lucky for once. Mm. Angel's nest corresponds to the information given us. The dolphins are jumping. Surveillance on Milady and my lord. Over. Try to find one. I go. His explanation should be interesting. <laughs> It'll be quick. 
I got out by half strangling the guard who took the handcuffs off me. And for the motorcycle, well, it was right there in the street and I couldn't abandon my friends after all we've been through. So here I am. It worked out. 50-50, huh? You found them? <laughs> They've been hidden in that house over there. What are we waiting for? I see a woman. And the money, too. Just take it easy. Let's get this off you. Oh, my God, my God. Oh. Who are you? George Truman, geologist. You were traveling with Ferguson? What happened to him? The man drowned, I suppose. He had to. All I was aware of doing was getting the handle open on the emergency door. Did you know Arthur Ferguson? Yes, I did. I was following him on the orders of Amir Abdul Pasha, who didn't trust him too much. Heh, <laughs> I guess he's smart. So then you tried to pass yourself off as Ferguson, huh? Sure I did, for the diamonds. I thought they'd come in handy, only I couldn't get them alone, so my daughter flew down to give me a hand. She did most of the work. You've been very dutiful. Now hand it over. Anyway, I'm his wife, not his daughter. <laughs> you still have to hand them over. That's right. They're not in there. Let her go. Where are the diamonds? Get them out and do it right now, or I'll hurt someone. Where do you think you're going? Have a seat, friend. Drop it! You know, I've still got that lump you raised on my head. And you've got corpses to account for. For instance, Janie and Mark and that Dutchman. I had to defend myself. He would have killed me. He thought I was Ferguson. The Amir Abdul Pasha was the one who sent him along, too. That man doesn't trust anybody. Omar, now! Pleasure to see you again, Doctor. You seem in a hurry. I'm looking for a patient. You're certainly well informed. I've heard about you, Doctor. Noble, altruistic, standing against all tyranny. I feel that way. Something should be done about certain things. Certainly. <laughs> Laura! 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 Guys, Jones!
Watch out here. <sighs> How are things? Mm -hmm. oh, pull through, all right. It was a real massacre. Play a pretty rough game. Not many of them left to play now. And uh, the diamonds? Far away. Hmm? Not our business anymore.
welcomes you to the International Flower Parade. Genève, vous souhaite la bienvenue au défilé des fleurs internationales. <laughs> Everyone have enough to eat and drink? <laughs> Champagne in a second. Hi, how you doing? for their freedom. Hurry. Where are the diamonds, madame? In the house. Come on. Come with me.
Let's go back. Keep quiet. And stay calm. Nothing will happen to you. What do you want? Who are you anyway? A people who knows exactly what it is that it has to do. But why? Are you terrorists? Bandits? We have hope. We love our country. We want the world to live in peace. Come back here. I'm Give up. You're not afraid of anything. You say you love liberty, yet you're here to steal from us. Ah, yes. Those diamonds are the price of our liberty that you stole from us. They will allow us to buy cannons so that we can fight cannons. Come here. It'll blow in ten seconds. Quick, everyone else. Everything seems in order. Do we pay Royal Eagle? Pay them. Yeah. 